Um, first of all, our initial assessment is that it's likely uh, Prigozhin was killed. Um, we're continuing to assess uh, the situation. Um, we don't have any information to indicate right now. Um, the press reporting uh, stating that there was some type of surface-to-air missile that took down the plane. That we assess that information to be inaccurate. Uh, again, nothing to indicate, no information to suggest that there was a surface-to-air missile. Um, but beyond that, I'm, I'm really just not going to have any further information. So you guys are not willing to say that you believe it was an assassination attempt. You're just being neutral on that right now. Is that Look, right? We, we're, we're continuing to assess the situation. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to have any further information on how or why uh, the airplane crashed. Uh, you know, and we've said this before, the Wagner forces essentially were Russia's most effective combat forces on the battlefield. Those forces essentially were removed from the battlefield. Some of them were, were um, relocated to Belarus to provide training uh, for Belarus forces. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, uh, they have, their combat effectiveness has been diminished, uh, and they are no longer a, a significant factor when it comes to the, the conflict inside Ukraine. As it relates to Africa, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, clearly, we know that the Wagner Group is, has for a while been conducting operations, uh, has many tentacles, some military in nature, some criminal in nature, uh, in Africa and places like Burkina Faso and Mali. Uh, and so, you know, I don't think anybody's going to discount the potential for uh, danger when it comes to that group or the remnants of that group. So we'll continue to keep a close eye on it.